Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida. Surprise! Part 3! As you can see, after Part 2 was over, I sort of got busy. Like, really busy. And I just checked this to make sure that that was not all pollen in there. And it looks like I didn't do a great job, but um, I'm going to use this as a palette. And I'm going to add some more dots so you guys can see what I do. And I want some orange in there, but I'm going to put it in after I put the other things in there. And I've never used this palette before. You're seeing me do it for the first time. So that's a watercolor palette. That's something ancient from my dad's studio. And I'll probably add more colors as I go. But since I like that color, oh boy, I'm going to start. Yeah. I'm going to start in here and try not to hit anything that's already had a dot. And as I go, I will attempt to spread them out a little further so it looks somewhat natural. I did like stages of this along the way, but um, I didn't like them any more than I liked it when I saw the dots. I put a little tiny bit of orange in here, those little tiny orange dots right there, and I liked them a lot, but um, when the painting dried, there were some, some areas like in here and in here that just looked very, um, for lack of a better word, messy. I gotta be careful not to be messy now. So I started just inside those blue dots, so I'm going to try and stay focused on adding just inside those blue dots. They don't have to line up with anything. The eye will follow the line around, no doubt about it. And this probably won't take too awfully long. Pretty sure I said this was Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery, but the days blend and the videos blend, so <laughs> I don't know that I actually did. So I'm going to say it again. There, I did. I love you guys, by the way. Thanks for being here. I appreciate the support. And I'm so happy I inspire you to have some fun with the paint that you invested in when you thought, ooh, pretty, cells, <laughs> and then wanted to do something else with it because you invested a chunk of change. So I am hopefully here to help you with that. And if you're not here for that reason, and you want to buy some artwork, I do sell my artwork. So where am I? I'm uh, right here inside those blue dots. Don't lose focus. Which reminds me, I kind of think that it would be okay for me to find some, some cobalt, cobalt blue. But um, as long as I can keep up the... <laughs> The inane conversation while I do this should work out okay. And I picked, seemed like I picked just about the right amount of paint to be actually less wasteful, which is good, because I prefer not to pour my paint away like happens to some people. I have these in the way and I'm almost done. I've got just this last little section right here inside the blue, inside the blue. Try not to take out my orange dots. Yep, I don't mind that. I still want to try the I want to try the orange ones soon, but what I really want right now is black. Hopefully that won't go over. Don't ask me why. I just sometimes I need black. And I'm gonna go between these purple dots. which got pulled out with a skewer. That's how that happened. And these black dots may actually interfere with some of those orange ones if I'm not focused. And right at the moment I saw that little thing fall and I'm not going to worry about it because there's going to be so many dots here it doesn't make any difference. I obviously did quite a bit of work after you guys were gone. I'm trying to talk and dot, talk and dot. You can see all those little splatters on my palette or what I'm calling my palette, a watercolor dish. I can probably get more than one dot out of those at a time if I work at it. I can't imagine. Probably fast forwarding to the end would be a good idea because I think there's just going to be an immense number of dots and then I might stick my skewer into something and pull it through. And this is not the most exciting thing. I could do all kinds of artwork, but um, most of it is tedious and time-consuming and not something for videos, or at least not for people who video like I do, because I don't edit. And I don't really actually have an editing program or know how to edit or have the time to do that either. So 
thank you guys for appreciating what I do the way I do it. I really do value your appreciation like you wouldn't believe. All right, I'm actually making progress. I'm getting to the where I need to be. I'm going to want some turquoise. I have that Bahama blue. I am trying to stay between those purple poles. And I'm almost where I need to be. Cool. Wow. Faster than I thought it was going to be. Oops, that was pink. Okay, don't dip into pink. So do I want to do anything else? Um, I kind of want some red. I thought I might not. I may still not. Um, I'm going to do the orange now. Just because I might change my mind and do nothing else except for the orange. And I kind of want to add the other orange next to it. And if I like them together, I'll double dip. One of the few times double dipping is a good thing. I'm going to move my paint colors out of the way and decide where I want this. I'm going to go ahead and try and just enhance the ones I had here already without getting too overly large. Because some of them kind of got lost a little bit. They're not shiny. I do combine matte paints with my uh, with my shimmering metallics and pearls and iridescence. I was watching a Heather Matter video recently and uh, she mentioned that that was a good idea and she's right. I've been doing that all along because all one and, or all the other is not nearly as interesting as both together. Hopefully my head isn't completely blocking you. Probably was. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so now I'm going to come back in there. I'm going to try and dab lightly right now as I go. And if it seems like it's going to interfere with that black, I'm going to avoid it. And because that orange dot was so small... Yeah, I like the orange a lot. And I'm just going to keep adding more. And covering up the ones that were there. Because these need to be exciting. I mean, they're just spirals. But they don't have to be just spirals if you add dots. I know, I'm dotty, but not really. <laughs> I used to have a psychic named Dotty. Hi, Dotty. If you're in the audience. All right. I'm not sure what to tell you guys anymore, but I do love the orange dots, and that might be the end of this. Unless I choose to go ahead and add the turquoise, because if I add the turquoise, I'm going to pull them out the same way. I'm going to probably run out of that. Whoops, run out of that orange too, because it took. I'm putting almost twice as many dots down of the orange. Look at that. That really makes it pop. That's much makes me much happier. It's a happy spiral though. It was an almost happy spiral before. It was close. The thing about spirals is sometimes people come for lessons. I give lessons at the house and uh, they're like, I had somebody ask me to do one of these and the thing about them, the spirals is they operate in stages. They really, really do. Because as you do them, you also decide that you require more than you have and you have to continue on. I'm gonna have a little more orange. I should probably take a step back and have a look and make sure I want that to go all the way, and I do. The more times I put more dots in, the uh, the more cohesive the the non-outline, the dotty outline of the spiral becomes. I know it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not what? I don't know what it's not. It's everything. I want it to be and not quite finished yet. That's what it's not. It's not quite finished yet. And uh, when I use the turquoise metallic, it's so beautiful. And I've often actually pulled out the um, pulled out the black dots too. I don't know if that looks right or not. I'm going to get that out of there. I think the turquoise is going to go in between and get a pull. All right, where was I? Pay attention. 
I'm down here, not up there. I'll pretend that's part of the background. I know, I can't imagine you guys watching part three, but at least you can zoom to the end and see what happens. And what I did that you didn't see was exactly what I'm doing now, so that's perfect. And if you happen to be listening because you've got nothing better to do than listen to me, that's okay too. I love you guys. I love that you're here often and that you appreciate me and you make sure I know it. And uh, thank you for that. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. Okay, so now's the time. Now I'm going to try and do the turquoise and I might need it to be twice. I might, you know what? Let's see how big this top is. Wow. I'm going to start with some. And then if I get to a certain point, I'm going to start my, my way in here, right here. Start at a point where I can see that I can actually fit them and not worry about them going any further in. Give the skewer a little bit of a twist around to make an actual, a more rounded dot. And that will distract the eye, in my opinion. From anything that might be. I saw there's a hair hanging off. There we go. Come here, hair. Any of the slightly muddy purple background that's not thrilling me is going to be semi-retired here quick, quickly enough. I've got love bugs on my calves. Not, not a good thing. That just makes me want the darker purple metallic. <laughs> well, the nice thing about the dots is they're not going to fill up a whole lot of space. So if you decide to do this, you can always add more dots still in a different color and create a, another effect. And there's nothing wrong with that either. But I'm liking that I'm being able to that I'm able to break up some of this stuff. I really did think I wanted to um, pull through them, which would be like just pull through. Makes a nice little pointed heart shape, just like that little. What, what used to be neon purple, which doesn't stay neon purple once it's on a darker background, but it's still a good color, so I'm not complaining. If it's on white, it, it often will stay. So tomorrow I could come back <laughs> and add the black and pull them. That way none of the other paints would get pulled at the same time. So if you do these in stages, it might work out even better. I mean, honestly, I'm doing it in stages. And liking how it looks. And I don't seem to mind my little palette too much. I don't feel like I'm wasting a lot. Although I'm getting slim, slim pickings right here at the end of this. Let's see how much I can get out of one skewer. Yes, I had a double dot back there, but you know what? Nobody's taking it too awful seriously. At least not standing here. <laughs> I'm wondering what else I can do. But I have, haven't really actually stopped to look at what I'm doing other than following along in the, in the lineup of what I've started there. I'm going to have to have a little more. I'd prefer if I could just put it on my skewer, but that's not always as easy as I'd like it to be. I'd also like to just do that. Can I get away with that? So much faster. Not always as round as I would like that to be. I want to put a double row in there, but I think we're good. If I put a double row in there, then to fill, fill in that other stuff. Um, well, the only thing that I feel like is really missing is something that's uh, a white metallic, and I'm not sure how that's going to look, and I don't really want to find out right now. I think I'm going to call it good, and uh, I never did use the red. 
but it's good. I'm good. So that's the end of part three. Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Check out my Amazon link for the Oxo omelet turning spatulas and other goodies. Blue link below show more. There's Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. And um, there's a paint pouring recipe, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram links underneath the video. Come join us on, on Instagram. It's uh, the most current. I want gold. <laughs> I want gold. Ah. Oh. Maybe tomorrow. Gold around the orange and then pull it out. Maybe now. I wonder what that's going to look like. Can I do that now? I could do that right now. And that way if I don't like it... Alright, so the skinny end, right through the middle. And I do like it. I don't like this particular bottle because that makes that little cap gets in the way, but um, it's a good size because you can still fit a marble in there. Yeah, if I start at the outside and, and work my way in, it could be okay. No matter what I cover, it's adding some interest to the design. Yeah, you can't trust me when I say I'm done, ever. I'm, I'm over here sneaking around behind your back. Make that a little thinner. That's right over another gold thing too. And I want to go in one. And the golds are going to blend. I wonder how much time. Oh, I got three seconds on my timer. So I'm glad I told you guys whatever I told you. And if you come back and you find out that I did something else, you'll understand. And I think I'm going to just go for it, which means Starting here, I'm going all the way around fairly quickly, and because the canvas is dry, I have a pretty good chance of not mucking anything up. I am going to keep going though. Ooh, started coming up much faster. No idea why. Might be helpful right now though, considering that we're down to the last two minutes. I already mentioned I sold my artwork and that I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, so that's not a problem. You know, I don't mind that. So I'm going this way, and I'm just going to start pulling those. As I get to the edge, I'm going to make sure I'm using more of the tip of my skewer because it seems to want to pull too much of the paint. And then I might have to fix it. I like the pulls. Spurs, even. I don't know what, they would, what they're really called, but spurs is good. Yeah, I got some other things pulling through the turquoise because I didn't let the painting dry, but, you know... It's still interesting and cool and funky and kind of psychedelic too. I might have to be a little more careful. Slow down a little bit. It did interfere with my turquoise dots. Oh well, never mind. I'll look after and decide if maybe I want some white pearl in there, but I think this is going to be it. Not that you can trust me, and I got one more minute left. And I already asked you for everything I needed. Um, thank you guys for all the great comments you leave me, and thank you for contributing to help keep me painting. And if you are one of the current contributors of $10 or more to the studio, you become included in this month's drawing, which has a couple of choices for a change. You have a choice of one or two paintings if your name is drawn, or a $160 credit toward any of my artwork, and, well, almost any, uh, as long as it's available artwork. Some of them are sold. Um, and a signed copy of my book called Because I Can. It's also on the Amazon link under Show More. And this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. In the back you're going, hey, I think I actually finished that in time not perfect, but it still looks kind of cool. And if you have more time, you can do it in a more perfect fashion.
Love you guys. Check out some of the